Hundreds of people across the country coming together to protect health care workers. Some of those people are in the Bay Area using their personal 3D printers to create face shields for local hospitals. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott explains how this group plans to print the curve flat. This is one right here. A face shield Jennifer Carter made on her personal 3D printer. Then what we do is we take these uh, binder cover sheets, basically, um, that the NIH has actually said this is what you need to use, and they just pop on these pegs, and then you have your finished one like that. Carter's friend invited her to join the Facebook group Print the Curve Flat, where hundreds of people across the country are using their personal 3D printers to create face shields for healthcare workers battling COVID-19. It just kind of escalated from just doing a couple online. Carter is in charge of the makers in the Tampa Bay area. So far, they've created 3,500 shields for local hospitals, and they're working on about 1,500 more this week. It's wonderful that so many people are willing to volunteer their time because almost all of us are doing this out of pocket. So many people coming together to protect the health care workers who are protecting us. I get a little choked up. <laughs> It's just the best of humanity coming out. With the demand increasing rapidly across Tampa Bay, the group is asking for anyone with a 3D printer or acrylic cutters for help. They also need some supplies donated like binder cover sheets. We have all this information for you up on our website right now. You can find it at abcactionnews.com. In Tampa, Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.